Hello, hello. Just sending link onto page. Hello, hello. Oh, this way. Hi, 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 hi. Okay. Hello. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Polly. Hi, hi. Just quickly set this all up. Okay. I think that's set up. Well, we are still trying out uh the kind of like a youtube live thing but most of you guys watch playback rather than watching live so next week it will be go back to a uh, normal video posting and i might do live again the week after but um i did said before uh, after um, last year, the last um, video, I said I am going to just um, doing once a month uh, live demo. So uh, we'll see how it goes. So we have four people here. Oh, and I have learned that on YouTube there is a, a button that, not a button, but it's kind of like a, a setting that I can uh, upload a video and then uh, premiere on the set schedule time so that I can watch the video with you guys at the same time. So then I can answer your question while the video is playing. So I might try that next week. I'm not sure. But I think uh, any videos, I think I will stick to uh, Friday same time upload. So if it is not live, then I will have a video upload every Friday, uh, 1 p.m. If there is no technical problem, but yes, I will try to stick to that schedule. So, okay, I think we should just start because um, people can watch the uh, playback. And today I'm using uh, Saracino again, and then I have some paste which is already warm up in microwave for a few seconds. And today we have this color. Ah, I just realized I'm missing yellow, so I'm going to grab a yellow quickly. Right, okay, so I'll just add the yellow to the bag. So normally when I mix stuff, I will have a bag. And rather than keep on getting it from the top. Right, they are still a little bit warm. The red is a bit dry, I don't know why, but it should be fine. And... I'm going to put it over there. And this is the picture I saw that I want to kind of copy. Uh, I was going to do the uh, Kung Fu Panda, you know, the animated um, movie one. So I might do that uh, next week or the week after. I'm not sure. But, uh, but I'm a bit worried about copyright. So um, I might change a bit but use that as inspiration, I'm not sure. Okay, let's start. So we will start making the pans first. When we use the pan, uh, uh, make the pans, then the pans kind of uh, set up what size the figure is going to be. And I don't want it too big. So get some red pen. 
paste. If your paste is a bit dry, um, you can put some Crisco or uh, in UK we call it Trax. You can see it's a bit dry. I think I might have left it out for too long, I'm not sure. But still workable. I always start off with um, some sort of parts from the figurine so that I can build from there like kind of like what size I want it to be I really weight my my paste because I want it just free free flow freestyle it okay it is a bit dry, but I'm going to keep the crease like at the bottom, so it's okay. I'm not going to spend too much time. If your if your paste is not like gelling together, just concentrate with one part and put it on your hand. The warmth will put the crease kind of together and make it disappear. Okay, I think that's good enough. And then um, the base for the panda is quite square, so start off with a ball so get rid of all the imperfection and then I'll squeeze it to the size I want and you can do it on the table because this panda is flat on the body kind of round on the side so then you want to get yourself the just oh. Dresden tool. Now we're going to cut the top, so we are going to concentrate on the bottom of the boxer first. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to in the middle, you can use a ruler as well, and kind of like indent it there. So you got like it all the way and then get <laughs> you see it's a bit wonky but it's okay it's just for me to guide where i'm going so as i'm pressing it it's kind of like it goes sideways so what you want is you want like a a, a, a shape Do a bit more. Right, you don't want it too flat. You still want a bit of a volume. And then round off the edges. Okay. So I'm quite happy with that. Maybe a bit taller there, so make it more obvious. Okay, then grab a ball tool. I think this is too big for it. Grab a ball tool. And then you want to indent it. I am not going to make it exactly the same, but I want it to be similar. Right, as I'm pushing and stuff, we have changed the shape. So put it back on the table. Okay, then you want to get. Oh, where is it? Oh, there. Okay, I can use use a, a sharp knife, and you want to cut it kind of there. 
Oh. But everything is quite wonky today when I cut like I see. Okay. So I am quite happy with that. So I'll put that away. Then pinch ourselves some black. Hi Sandra. Right, you want to have um, enough to have the um, the leg showing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it next to there. And I think that's enough for both sides. Okay, right, so now I need to make the indent more obvious. So that it looks like the leg is going into the trousers. Right, so this one we are going to make it like a ball and roll it into a sausage. Okay, then cut it in. Okay, the pace is a bit soft, so what we're going to do is we are going to, I'm going to keep it like that. And I'm going to put it on the side for now. That is the fit for this, but we can still continue to build from there. So now we are going to use some white to make the body so um, by proportion wise you want these to be kind of um, same size as the red maybe a bit more You know I like to make my figurine like the head bigger than the body, so... Right, pull it together... Try to have the crease at the bottom. Right. Once you're happy with that, make it into cone shape. And you want the base kind of like same width with the red so that it sit on nicely. Make it like a cone and then you can put it on top. It's okay to have a little bit of a belly because uh, <laughs> I like it like, like that. Right, okay. Oh, there's a, a fluff there. Let me get rid of it first. Sometimes you can use a wet brush to get rid of uh, the fluff. Okay, so now I am happy with the shape. And then you put it on there, it's kind of like that. So what you want to do is you want to have it completely flat.
And then add some water. So something like this and then try to smooth out the joint I mean we're going to put a belt there so it's not going to be really obvious but still try to get rid of the, the kind of seam make it flat okay and then also we need to cut the top I forgot Right, because um, Panda, this one, it have kind of like a, a black piece of uh, back. Like where the shoulder is, is actually black color and the arm is black. So we want to kind of cut that off. There. So, after you cut it off, this is where the black pieces so we want to mimic that piece so save that and put it on the side and I'm going to put this here for now put it away So same again, you put it on the table, if your hand is sticky, you use some cornflour. Then, you can do it on there, but then you will still need to kind of cut it so that it gives you a better finish. Okay. It's like a building like parts of it gradually. Does that make sense? <laughs> Add some water again. And this one you really need to smoothen it from edge to edge so that there is no um, joints. Right, if it doesn't join to the edge, just slightly pull it out. And then just make the joint together. As this uh, panda is moving, so you don't really need to make the joint perfectly square. As you are like pushing it, the shape might have changed. Okay, then you can put away the cut off it. Okay, then now we are going to put it on there get yourself two cocktail stick I think that is not long enough so we will need a longer thing Here, so 
what you want is you want don't forget you got the the feet as well so the red won't start until there so what you want is you want it at least halfway so it's kind of that And now you want to kind of uh, pre-poke where you want it to be. So it's kind of go through there. And there. But make sure it's straight. Both sides. One is not going down. It's okay. Okay, now we will use the pointy side to pre poke it down. Hi, Dad. My father is here. Okay. Right, you want it kind of slightly at the oval shape. Okay, get rid of the face on the top. Right, okay. Then once you mark where it is, <laughs> right, okay, that's better. Then you pre poke the hole right straight in. You just make it easier to go in, really. Okay, oh, before I put it in, I should add the belt. The belt is blue, so get some blue paste. Don't think I need that much. Take one out. Hi Rosanna. Let's see if it is okay. Okay, is it long enough? Yes. Slightly stretch it if you think it's a bit long. Okay, before I do that, I should add some stitch mark on the side. And then Maybe a pocket. Hmm. 
Okay. Just some details. Okay. So now we can stick this on. We have the joints on the back. <laughs> I was thinking, is it you from Australia? Yes, I thought you would be sleeping now. Thank you for tuning in. Right, now that I cut it, hopefully I have enough. You can have the joint on the side or on the on the uh, back or even on the front because the, the front there is a kind of like a little batch to it. So this is kind of like a... How to say it? A quick demo. And then next week, I'm going to put a Kung Fu Panda video up. Right, so I think we should have double line there to make it look better. <laughs> okay, it's quite fat. Right, okay, now we can put the blue away for now. Oh, actually. Oh, no, not blue. One red. Right, try to smooth out all the joints. Make sure the joints are joined together. And we will have a bit of yellow for the front. You just want a little kind of rectangle. <laughs> Try to make it straight, not like how I cut it. So wonky everything today. Oh. Okay. Right, stick to my finger. Let's put it. Oh. Oh no, I was going to put a, a star on it, but I guess it will be too my big, my smallest star will be still too big for that little part there. But it's okay. Not very straight, but it's okay. Well, this can leave on the side because we're going to use it in a minute. Hopefully, it won't dry out. Or you can put a, a glass over it to stop it drying. Do I have something? Oh. I have a lid here, so I'm going to put it just over there to cover the paste so it won't dry out. Oh, I should have done that with the blue as well. Never mind. Uh, okay, so now we will move on to putting it onto the stick. You see it now, the the polystyrene is not very happy. So you don't want that happen to uh, how to say when you are making stuff. You don't want that to happen. So I'm going to make another hole. Actually, I'm not happy with that. So you, you don't want to make it the same place. So go in there, go all the way down. Hopefully this time better. Ah so much better. Okay. So do the same on the other side. 
all the way down to the bottom. Okay, now they are not bouncing. Good. So hold in the front that is okay. Right now, add some water. Why is it? Huh. Right, when it is too low, the steak, it makes the polystyrene kind of like not on the table. So pull it back up a bit. And then now we're going to put it in. Oh no. Right, so you see that is sticking out a bit. Put it back up. And what you want is get the, something flat and then push your paste that way a bit. It's okay, I mean, it won't make much difference, but when you push it, just make sure. Push it back some. There. Okay, now it sit better. Okay, now we are going to make the arm. I'm going to make the glove first. You can't sleep. Why? <laughs> oh. Hopefully, <laughs> after you watch this tutorial, you can fall asleep. Oh, what happened to... I don't know what happened today. Everything just moved. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hopefully, after you watch this tutorial, you can fall asleep. Don't fall asleep! Well, I'm making it though. <laughs> Sandra. Oh. I know. I. At first, i really not happy with uh, the lockdown, to be honest. But now I'm used to it. I am actually really enjoying the lockdown, you know. And I have changed the way I work. And I have tried loads of different things using this time, so I, I am actually really happy. But I do miss going out. I haven't been out for a long time, except going to supermarket or post office once in a while. Okay, now we're making the uh, the glove. Let's crease there. My work is not very sharp today, I don't know why. But I'm trying to get rid of the crease, so... Okay. Um, we want the, the, the boxing glove quite big. So we will just still kind of do that. I mean, the whole thing is out of scale anyway. It has a really cute element to it, but kind of quite feisty. <laughs> okay, so I have shown you guys um, how I make hands in other videos. So if you want to recap how to make hands, you can look back and see. So with gloves, boxing gloves is only like round there and then just thumb. So we're cutting the thumb now. And you don't want the glove to be too flat. So you want to have some volume. So round it off. Uh -huh. So I have a tissue. Because sometimes when you poke the black, it 
paste remain on your tool right okay so once you're happy with it then you kind of bend it like that and then the thumb bend it as well then you want to slightly only slightly you don't want to kind of do too much we're going to put a yellow cuff on it in a minute okay and then just give it like make sure you give enough kind of cuff size there so we're going to cut it there and then round it back up okay now I'm going to try to make sure <laughs> I make the other one the same I always say I, I cannot make two things exactly the same size but I will try what are you making? Uh, a boxing panda today so next week I probably will make a, a kung fu panda next week I'm not sure yet okay from this side so I want from yes I'm doing the right you know what sometimes I do the left and right hand wrong I might like do two left hand <laughs> and stuff okay so now so after you round everything off you bend it round a bit more if you find it two sharp edges same again this one bend forward too okay look bigger but once you kind of put in position squeeze it more right then you will do that then it will be smaller not too bad can do a bit more okay so try to cut them the same length they the same okay quite happy with that right now we are going to as usual you can use the back of your paintbrush to make a kind of hole like so same okay so they're there and then now we're going to oh there it is I was like I was going to roll it out but I don't need to so let me move that way use the small one so you want to cut yourself two strip okay 
don't think there's any more yellow strips so I can put it away right so because the the punching is there we can have uh, the seam at the base of the glove Okay, the other side. Right, put them aside like that and get rid of the yellow. Okay, now we're going to put the arm on. Get yourself some flat paste. So you want your your paste kind of like same size as the hole, otherwise you make your hole bigger. Oh, I got some some wood bit from the stick. Okay, I don't want it too thin. I think that is good to go. Okay, so it's kind of like he's punching forward. So this is kind of like for both arm. So if you put it on the side, you can see, don't forget you still have the glove. So normally arms is kind of like past the waistline, even though this is out of scale, but I think it look all right. So you want it kind of cut at an angle where the shoulder and the arm joint together okay I love when the paste is so soft and pliable like this stage I like oh, I love to hate it really because sometimes it gives you trouble okay so now you want to get yourself uh, I think this is a 20 22 gauge wire normally all my arms and limbs uh, if it is not carrying anything uh, I will use 24 but uh, if your arm is quite heavy or is in the air I normally go one size up like which is the 22 gauge wire so 
So this is just a, a straight punch. Got quite a bit of uh, wood bits on the side. Okay. So what I want is I want the wire to go in on the side. So I will have at least kind of halfway there and then bend it. So that, that is the wire you go into the panda. And then you want the length of your arm kind of there plus a bit for the glove. So I think there is good. With this, you might need to have a, a support for it so that the arm stay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I don't know what happened today. But you can have, have the arm kind of uh, at an angle. So if you want your arm to have an angle, ideally, you kind of have both end wire exposed and then you kind of slightly kind of bend the middle then your wire will kind of bend to where you want it to be when your wire is thick um, it's harder to bend to the shape you want but 24 and 22 gauge wire is actually a really good wire to use okay that's not round. I might do it like that, make it better. So you want it kind of like that, and then you want to put. Did I put water in? I can't remember. And make sure you you put the right correct arm um, on. And then push it in like that and then the the shoulder is kind of there so you want to push it in like that and then add water okay while this is will be in the air I'll put it on the side first you will need uh, to make yourself some sort of support really okay I think that's good right so let's poke the hole first kind of there You do that, make sure you put water there. Right, as you can see, it's still quite soft. So, what I want to do is I want to kind of make an L shape like this. Oh, too much. Like, like that. Then you put it where you want it to be. Then with the arm, make sure it is stuck where the joint is. You can spend time to get rid of the joint, but I'm not going to. Oh, that's too far. There. I think I'm happy there. Once the joint is stick there with water, it is not moving anywhere. So it need to be rest on something to dry. Okay, now with the other one. 
The other one I want it like kind of like there. So you slightly bend it there, but we are going to not do it right now. We are going to insert the Y in first. Got some old wire just on the side. And this one. Right, same again. I find a 20. You know what? Oh, there it is. 22. Is that 22 or? This might be 20 actually, but it's the same. Cheryl. Hi, 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 hi from Australia. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I at the beginning of this video, uh, if you do watch back, I did mention uh, because there isn't a lot of people watching live. Um, I will still do live, but probably maybe once a month. But then the all the other time may be a video, but upload on Friday same time. So that is a premiere, and I will watch it with you guys, and you can put like comments on the side, and then I can answer you while we are watching it together, really. But um, we will try it next week, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, so now we have another wire, which is 20 gauge wire. Basically, the the no 22 gauge wire. 22 is that 22? I think that is 22. Basically, is this wire is easier to bend. So even when you have paste in there, you can bend it, and it can help you better when it is on the figurine. If it is anything uh, thinner, it will still hold, but then uh, you might have it drooping while it is, well, after it dry, sometimes it happens as well. Okay, so now we are going to put it through. So same again, we are going to bend some. <laughs> Make sure you have enough. Yes. So you bend, bend some like where you want it in the figurine. Then you want to slightly bend because it's going in like this, right? Then you want to slightly bend where the middle part is, so kind of there. And then you thread it through. Right, with short distance to do this is good, but if you have a long distance, when you're pushing your pacing, it gets stuck and then it's hard to push if you put water in. So you can put it through first and then push it back out and then add water that way. So feel the wire where it is going and try to get it out in the middle of the paste. So there. When you push it, it might kind of uh, shorten. And then see if you're happy. Then once you have both wire, then put your finger there and bend it more. It's okay if you have make a crease there because elbow we have crease anyway. So it's kind of there. You want it a bit more. So like that. So you can you can add a bit of crease there to make it like an elbow. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Or you can add it there. Oh, at least. Okay, now we are going to can't get rid of that bad paste. Uh the glove. Hola from Mexico. Hi. So we're going in kind of like 
horizontal so you kind of like locate where your glove want to be maybe same again maybe do the same again make it bigger when it is too soft it was too soft earlier then you put it down and wait now the the pace is kind of firm up it's easier to handle then push it in so it gives you a really good joint there right and then now we are going to I need to make sure I have the wire so same again any scrap wire you cut and not used The red is showing a bit, so push it in behind the yellow. Okay. And then make it L shape again. Oh, like that. Okay. Then add water. When it is drying, everything is moving. Sometimes it's kind of quite frustrating, but you just have to bear with it when it is dry it will be you see it's just moving once it's dry it will kind of like it will stay in where you want it to be so push it in and then where you are happy with oops you kind of put it there ideally put it where the joint of the uh, black paste and the red paste so you won't see um, how to say you won't see a mark on it but when you are making stuff it will move everything will move so just come back and check if it is in the right position once you're happy with that and just push it in make sure the arm you have enough paste if the wire come through don't worry just add a bit of uh, black paste to it and then and then you can just spend time smooth it smooth the join out I am not going to. I think that is okay. Oh, you see, it moved. So just check. Oh, no. it will dry like this if you set it up as it is it just takes time to dry okay just turn it around to check if that is how you want it and i can see the paste is not joining there i don't know if you can see it but if your paste is not joining they're not sticking then then your figurine is more chance of moving not how you want it to be okay so i'm happy with that need to clean my hand quickly so much black on it okay now we can move on to the head okay Before we move on to the head, I think we should put the stick in. So it have two stick in the middle, and then we are putting another stick down in the middle for the head to go. <laughs> you see how wonky that is. Yeah. Okay, now 
I'm going to grab some paste. We are using the white. And let me put that away. That's far too big. Oh my god. Okay. So I am going to gauge it. Like that, I think. Yeah. So spend some time got some black color black there, to get rid of the seam. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with that. <laughs> so find a good side. You want that to be the then the bottom of your head so that you won't see that so okay I think there I think I'm happy with that so same again as usual I will do that and that's the front that's the bottom hopefully it doesn't show at the back <laughs> Okay, now we're going to make his face. He got a really angry face, I think. Angry? I won't say angry. <laughs> Maybe a bit more... Uh, kind of like a frown, frown face. Okay, so now you want to make the... The, the front snout. Bit. So, but I don't want it too obvious. So while I'm doing that, I'm pushing it up. I want the face quite flat. I don't know if the if you can see in the shadow. So, so it's quite flat, so you just want a little mountain, flat mountain really. And I want it open like that. Something like that. Okay. Then we are going to roll out some black paste. Oh, my hand is going to be really dirty. I'm not going to play with it too much. I'm just going to roll it. You can do it as thin as possible, as it is kind of like a pattern on the face. Then this one I will use a, let me see, a oval cutter, maybe. Yeah, I think, I think I will use an oval cutter. You know, sometimes you have a lot of cutters, <laughs> but none of it is the cutter you want. I, oh, I think that is kind of good size. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that, and I'm going to use... I'm just going to use that. Okay, and you want to... Oh, no, you can... 
Yeah, you're gonna have two of these. Hi, Mona. One. Right, what I'm going to do is I am going to get rid of all the fray and then choose the kind of like a, a half side and then what you want is you want to get yourself a bigger circle cutter so what I want to do is I want to kind of gauge where I want it to be like that then I'm going to use a circle cutter let's see if this is good uh, that might be too big okay this one so this is what I'm going to do I mean once I have done it you will know why I do this thing so do it like that. Can you see? So you want it space it out how you want it, then you kind of go I need to stand up, I can't see. Uh like halfway. Okay. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Then you want to get yourself a kind of like a piping nozzle. Right, clean up the fray first. And then once you have done that you kind of find the middle of the paste and do a hole there and then do a hole there Okay, and then just make sure, remember to clean your nozzle, otherwise you've got black paste stuck in there. Right, once you have done that, let me pick it up. So it looked like this, but I don't want it to look like this. I am going to, if I cut it on the ruler, I can pick it up and show you guys in a minute. So I want to kind of use the curve and I want to cut a kind of like a a half moon. I don't want it totally round. Can you see? And then use the tool to kind of clean up the edges. Let me show you the other one. So instead of instead of rank, we want to elongate like uh, a T drop. So we will do the same. If I do it like this, I think you can see it better. So what I did is I circle and then I have cut the end a little bit oh no <laughs> okay I'll do it on there it's fiddly but you don't have to do this you can just leave it as in circle why are you not coming up okay So it's a T-drop, 
and then use a dressing to the uh, the pointy bit, or you can use a needle if you want to be more precise, and just tuck. Okay, so I think that's clean. Okay, now we are going to put it on. Don't put any glue on first. Put it, put the black piece on first so that you are happy where it is. He's one angry panda. <laughs> he's, he looks like he's wearing a mask. Think more that way. Well, I, I'm not too happy it go so up. He looks like he's wearing an eye mask from that music band. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to cut it a bit more. Okay. Then just slightly cut it, make it just a little bit less pointy. Anyway. So Okay, I'm happy with that. And then you just kind of slide it to the side and then put water there. I prefer to do it this way because if you put water on straight away, then if you kind of have a mistake, then you can't peel it back off. It's like a comic figure. <laughs> okay, now just add a bit of black as the nose. Make it like a round oval shape okay, on the front. oh before I do that actually cut yourself a little line you can roll it out but cutting a line is quicker for me just to make the the line underneath the, the nose really and right there there and then like a T joint okay then you put your nose on the nose bit I mean you don't have to have uh, a contour snout, you can just have it completely round. And 
and it doesn't look that much difference. Right, get rid of the pointy bit, just kind of tap, tap, tap it. And that will do. Then we will roll this. Then I think I need more. Okay, so I am quite happy with that. Then roll out a ball. And then, actually, I'm going to do this first. I think maybe that one. Ball two, like that. Get rid of the the mark. And I'll do that again. Then cut it in half. You might have to do it again actually anyway, because the pace <laughs> deform. Okay. Okay, so once you do that, use a bigger one. Okay, now I will I won't put the E on first because I want to make sure I'm happy with the head first. Okay. So I want his face kind of look down. So slightly, so you, I want him to look down, so I will poke it from kind of the front like this. Sometimes you have to poke it quite a few times. That's better. So it kind of sits halfway. And then just make sure you run that bit off. Oh no, the it can clean that up later. So now I'm going to put the ear on. I think he still look too cute. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can do that better. 
so you can move him anywhere you want I think like this is better so that's it for today thank you for watching and I will see you guys next week and I'll post a new video if you like this video please share it and subscribe to my channel uh, thank you for watching bye bye